Okay, next is number 60. It's this tree behind me, Alnus rubra. This is a, a tree that's native to riparian areas here uh, around the Pacific Northwest. And it should be a pretty easy one uh, for you to ID. Okay, so it has these uh, alternately arranged leaves that are quite large, very distinct uh, veins, particularly if you feel the underside, the veins are quite distinctly impressed. Really key, uh, really cool feature about uh, Ulnus rubra that you can tell, you can, should be able to ID the leaves without looking at it, is if you feel the margin, there's a little lip on it. That means the, the, the margin is revolute. So the, the very, very tip of the margin rolls under just a little bit and a really uh, cool ID feature. Also, when you look at the uh, buds of Ulnus rubra, they are uh, distinctly stalked and they're different than a lot of the other uh, species that we look at that oftentimes have imbricate or uh, shingled um, uh, buds. These guys, they, they have like three bud scales that uh, they're sort of nondescript and, and uh, run the, uh, the length of the bud uh, to protect the shoot uh, inside. Also, <clears throat> it is in Betulaceae, so uh, the uh, uh, females in this case are these uh, uh, racemes, these catkins uh, that hang down and they produce a uh, nutlet, right? Um, and I don't uh, happen to see any of the males here. So uh, at any rate, that is uh, Alnus uh, rubra. All right, so this is a quick correction. <clears throat> I get talking very fast sometimes, and uh, my, my mouth works faster than my brain. So in Alnus, these are actually the males, the longer uh, catkins that we have hanging down. So these are going to produce the fruit, or the, uh, the pollen. And then the females, this happens to be a different species of Alnus but they produce these uh, small modified cones that are going to ha contain the seeds. So this is more like what your females are going to look like. This is what your males in Alnus rubra are going to look like.